Hello, good day bookworms. Today I'm going to tell you a review of the first book of the Septimus Hip series, Magic. But before that, I will give you a short introduction to the whole series. The Septimus Hip series is written by Angie Sage. These are fantasy novels about the seven years of apprenticeship of Septimus Hip to the extraordinary wizard Marsh Overstrand. It consists of seven books. First one is Magic. The second is Flight. The third is Physic. Fourth, Quest. book is Siren. The sixth is Darke. And the seventh, the last book is Fire. The books have appeared on national bestsellers list and received worldwide acclaim. The books have appeared The books have appeared on national bestseller list and received worldwide critical acclaim. Warner Bros. acquired the rights to produce a movie based on the first book, Magic. This book. I have to put it back first. Time out, Taya. Time out. The cover of the first book represents the gift of Marsha Overstrand by the time Septimus Hip accepted the apprenticeship. The Dragon Ring The Dragon Ring, which is the charm at the center of the book, played an important role throughout the series as it amplifies the powers of the wizard who wears it. This book is published in the midst of the fame of Harry Potter. Therefore, comparison within the genre is inevitable. Critics have acclaimed similarities such as Bogart being Hagrid and Dom Daniel being Voldemort. The charm ring is somehow equivalent to the ring in The Lord of the Rings. The setting of the story is during medieval times when people live in castles, travelers come by boat, Residents traveled to the river. Magical elements were introduced throughout the book. These include pet of Trelawney, a rock that is a pet which needs to be fed and walk every day. Bird, the dog that says meow. Shield bugs, insect warriors that defend their master who feed them from a jar. Brownies are like swamp pests. They give delusions to their victims and later consume human meat. There is also a half-dragon half-boat that can fly. The beginning of the story is about Silas Heap having seven sons, in which the youngest is newly born. He went out to look for some herbs for his wife and the baby. On his way, he found another baby on the snow. He thinks that there is room for another one in the Heap's family, so he took her home. Later, they found out that the baby is significant to the community and needs protection. This brings the characters to a magical journey. Yet, the seventh son, named Septimus Hip, was claimed dead by the midwife. But the truth was, he was taken away to turn him into something else. The seventh son of the seventh son is predicted to have very strong magical powers. 
It might sound like a superstition, but this line didn't have much importance in the book. The story revolves also on learning more about a boy from the young army who is somehow kidnapped by wizards. He starts to learn more about magic and his past. There is a very good This is a very good light read. No emotional depths, no moral ambiguation and insights. Most of the chapters are fast paced and that many things are happening. Some small details became an important of the book. This is a very good light read. No emotional depths, no moral ambiguation and insights. Most of the chapters are fast paced and that many things are happening. Some small details became an important part of the book or the sequels, except for one chapter that is going to the rubbish chute, which is insignificant but consumed a lot of pages. I think the author gives a lot of detail to enrich the imagination of the reader. By reading the first book, the reader gained clues of what the seven books is about. Some points in the story are predictable, especially when reading the series continuously as if being familiar with the author's writing style. Anyway, I love this book. The first book is always the greatest, isn't it? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Lee Andy. I reside in the Philippines and I am an online seller. Please add my Facebook account. The link is at the description. You can reach me with this number. 63 966-320-0827 via Globe SMS, Viber, or WhatsApp. And please follow my Goodreads account. Also, the link is in the description. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit like and share. Turn the notification button on. Thank you for watching. See you soon.